Hello, my name is Stefan Glöckler and I'm working at the Max Planck Institute for Biophysical Chemistry and the Center for Biostructural Imaging of Neurodegeneration. One focus is to understand cellular metabolism. Understanding how cells turn nutrition into energy is very often linked to various diseases such as cancer or neurodegeneration. Understanding these pathways can um, lead to new diagnostic capabilities and allow us to even find cures. The technique that we are using in specific is magnetic resonance. It is a unique approach that allows us to non-invasively peek into our body and probe molecules even on an atomic scale. To make diseases better visible, very often contrast agents are applied in diagnostics. So what are contrast agents? Uh, it is very similar to you applying a filter on your camera or on your smartphone. So think about your last amazing holiday picture where you want to make the sky look a little bit bluer or the palm trees look a bit greener. The same thing we can do in medical diagnostics where we apply these contrast agents to really enhance the images of uh, diseases so that we can better spot them. So one specific uh, kind of contrast agent that we are working on are body-owned metabolites of which we want to enhance the signal by several thousand fold that then can allow us to probe diseases. To enhance the signals of these metabolites is we're making use of so-called quantum effects. Quantum effects are phenomena that only happen on the smallest level of particles or atoms but they have a massive impact on the world that surrounds us. The uh, quantum effects that we're using are based on para-hydrogen. Para-hydrogen is a special form of hydrogen that is already being used to bring rockets into space or fuel hydrogen cars and now has the capabilities to revolutionize the field of biomedicine. With this, I would like to invite you to a little tour through our labs because the first thing we need is the contrast agent, the molecule itself. And now we're going to take a look where that comes from. In here, we're producing our contrast agents. What we have to do at the very beginning is we have to tweak our compounds a little bit so that we can enhance the signal by several thousand fold. And then we can reconvert them into body-owned metabolites and use them in our imaging studies. So we then bring our contrast agents to our magnetic resonance devices or tomographs. And uh, the great things about these devices are they can be found in many research labs around the planet. And they are very similar to tomographs in clinics for diagnostics. So our technique can be easily implemented in already existing systems and uh, be used in many places already. Coming from the magnetic resonance device room, we can hear fully remotely our imaging experiment and we can also remotely enhance our signals. And how that looks like, I would like to show you here on the screens. Right now, we have put a sample into our magnetic resonance device. And what you see here in this image that uh, the sample gives nothing else but noise. So you can't really see it. And then we apply our enhancement technologies. And what happens is that all of a sudden, the sample lights up as centered in the image. We're back in the construction lab and the true benefits of signal enhanced contrast agents will be revealed here. Because we've seen so far that this uh, contrast agents can be used in standard magnetic resonance and tomography, which is usually not very portable. It needs to have stationary devices. But with this signal enhancement, we have less demands on the magnet technology. So all we need is, first of all, a device that produces our contrast agents. And this can be perfectly put on wheels. Uh, this is what I'm going to show you right here. So this is where we produce our contrast agents. And once their signal is enhanced by over 10,000 fold, we can just bring it in a portable magnetic resonance device that merely has the magnetic field strength of a bar magnet that you have at the kitchen and that you put on your fridge. And how that looks like is this device over here, which is perfectly portable. And we have used this already to probe biochemical reactions that are being pursued in clinical trials to understand and uh, diagnose cancer. 
the combination of these two devices perfectly shows that we can construct magnetic resonance with a less demanding technology. And that means that we can bring magnetic resonance tomography and its diagnostic capabilities to remote regions on the world that cannot afford such devices yet. And that will mean that we can improve healthcare on a global scale.